So uh, we're back in Jacksonville, Florida again, uh, February of 2001. It's three months later, and we're still talking to Jennifer Lico. Hi, Jennifer. Uh, hello. Well, Jennifer, um, I noticed first off that this is a new band, and uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about you know, how it is that uh, you put your bands together and uh, everything when you go on the road. Well, last time we spoke, I was solo artist and I didn't have a band at all. I was just um, playing with backing tracks because um, I was hired without a band. Um, this time, I got approached by Bill Messick to do these games, and I hired uh, two musicians out of New York that are friends of mine that I've played with um, up in upstate New York. And I hired a keyboard player from South Florida whom I've worked with and who produced my CD. Um, and so according to the festivals and, you know, what kind of gig it is, um, that's how I go about deciding who I'm going to call upon to play with me. But I'm not a, a band. We're not a band. I'm a solo artist, and I have a band that backs me. Um, by now, most of our listeners uh, are becoming more familiar with uh, your material. And, oh, that's great. Uh, yeah, it's a, it is a good thing, isn't it? Wonderful. <laughs> One of the things I'm interested in is it's got to be kind of challenging um, as a solo artist, uh, constantly with changing venues and changing bands and that kind of thing. How do you fit that in? How do you get practice in? How do you make sure that the sound is tight? Because you guys do have a good sound. You have a lot of musicality, but you know you're doing it on such a short time schedule. I guess we kind of wonder, you know, how's this all accomplished? Yeah, we're wondering that too. <laughs> no, um, it is very difficult. It's it's hard to to fit time in rehearsing with all the different musicians that I play with, especially when they play with other people as well. And um, yeah, it's very difficult, and a lot of it's you know just just the fact that we have played together on different occasions, and you know sometimes we record what we've done so that we can remember and. You know, but yeah, it's it's very difficult to play with different bands. Um, but I also enjoy I enjoy playing with different people because it keeps me on my toes and it keeps me, um, you know, I keep pushing myself. And and if you don't have that kind of challenge, it gets sort of boring. So I actually enjoy that. Um, so we'll see what happens. Hopefully, eventually, I'll have one set band. But um, until then, I'll just be Jennifer Lico. Um. So the next thing I guess we'd like to ask you about is uh, it seems you have a new website, and we definitely want to get everybody heading out there and seeing that. Tell us about your new domain name. Yes, I'm so excited. I have gone big time with my domain name. It is jenniferlico.com, and that is spelled L-I-C-K-O, Jennifer L-I-C-K-O. It's Czechoslovakian. So um, you can just go to www.jenniferlico.com. And um, I've got links in there to my Celtic music um, where you can listen to MP3 files and you can purchase the CD um, and you can find out my schedule. And um, I have a little newsletter in there where I'm, you know, advertising other, other things like Celtic Grove Radio Station is a link. So you can check out all these different links I have. And um, I also have a, a connection in there to my original music that I'm writing and I'm recording right now. So. so tell us a little bit about your songwriting and about your original material and what kind of directions you're heading in with that. Well, I'm writing songs and I'm just recording a small sort of mini CD with five tracks on it. Um, and they're not really Celtic sounding. It's more of a um, jazz R&B influence. Um, a little bit of fun in it wow. so but you know it's it's you know I just started writing and I decided you know even though it's not Celtic sounding it's 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 another you know, music yeah. is music I don't like to I don't like to classify music anyway into different categories all oh, this is Celtic and geographically you can but I don't like to say this is alternative or this is country or this is bluegrass I just music is music and, it, and most musicians are not anti one certain style. They like all music, or they can at least appreciate it. And so I'm, I'm I don't like to classify any kind of music. We certainly enjoy having you on uh, every time that we can get around to see you. Well, thank you. I look forward to seeing y'all again. All right. <laughs>